Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is just going to be another what sold on eBay video and I just wanted to show you this. So from my last video, well, one of my last videos about how my sales had dropped really, really bad. So this was what it was. It, this was about four days ago. Um, I was 40% down on last year and 37% down on the previous month and in four days it's looking a lot better. We're still in the red but we're only 16% down from last year and only 1.9% down from the last month. I'm so happy about that. And if you want to know some of the things that I've done and tweaked um, that has helped, I'll put the video up here of some of the things that I tried. And obviously I can't say if any of them things are the reason for the change or not, but I'm guessing they are. I don't know which ones. I think it's a combination of all of them. Um, but I'm really pleased with this result. So hopefully in a few more days we'll be in the green again fingers crossed all right so so we have some sales that aren't just closed today uh first thing that sold uh, one of the ps2 games the spongebob one uh, i could have got more for it if i'd have waited but but these games essentially cost me nothing they came with the ps2 so i'm just happy to get them going plus more sales apparently triggers more sales more activity on your shop so i'm happy to just let stuff go at the minute so i got four pound for that one this dress sold um, on the day I think. This was another one out of the bulk vintage bundle and like I could tell it's, it looks pretty good. It was in amazing condition, absolutely nothing wrong with it um, and I probably should have listed it for higher than that but I'm trying to focus on just £10 profit per item is what I'm happy with and so this dress would have cost me £3 so it's more than £10 profit so I'm trying to be more willing to just let things go rather than grasping on to them because the quicker they go the more money I get back in and so forth uh, but really happy with 24.99 still plus postage that's one thing I haven't taken the postage off yet um, I've left it on just to see how we go this is another one that sold really quick uh, one of them red satin Chinese dresses probably could have got more for it but still 15 pound then the guitar hero bundle sold really fast for 40 quid which I was well happy with that price. I'm pleased with that price. It was in great condition. But you know what I've done? Oh, I posted it yesterday. I'm pretty sure I put them games in, I don't know if you can see my mouse, in that bit there. But I packaged it all up like really, really well <laughs> and posted it off. And now I'm not 100% sure that them games were in there. So I'm going to have to go to the storage unit in the morning and check if them games are there and if they are I'll have to quickly send them out um so fingers crossed <laughs> this one I took an offer of 17 pound for yeah this one went to I had a lady contact me from Minsk and because I use global shopping program they don't I thought they just went everywhere but they don't post to Minsk for some reason and um, so I've done so I had to sort the postage out privately and the cheapest I could find it was 29 pound postage which they paid, so yeah, I guess they really want this dress. It just seems like a lot. This one, another one went quick, and I did take an offer, I think, of 23, maybe 22. Again, I was just happy with it in and out. Pretty pleased with that. I think it cost me, I think it was about a tenner. Hang on a minute. Okay, that's still apparently £11 profit, so then that's fine. That fits in with my £10 profit. And to say that it was quick, so I'm happy. At least that 24th of July, so yeah, only a few days. This one, I knew it was going to be good. I was so happy about it. Uh, this was the first thing that I saw at the car boot, and I was just like, yes. Uh, it worked, and it made all the noises and stuff. And I took an offer of 22, just because I think that went on the day or the next day. So yeah, I was really happy with that. This is just another of the dresses from Bulk. I keep mentioning them and no I'm not sponsored by them or anything it's just where these are all from yeah decent price went for $18.99 this one I believe is actually being returned because the lady said it was too big which is fair enough but it, it's absolutely lovely condition a Laura Ashley vintage Laura Ashley wool jacket I took an offer on it as well I think of 25 but I'm sure it'll sell again no problem was another one of the dresses and I didn't think it was going to go for this price actually but it sold really quick listed it on the 18th and it went in a few days it was so nice these pictures look a bit blurry uh, but it was really really nice in person 
and again I was tempted to keep it like with most things that fit me but I was happy to let it go for that. This one has been around ages, it says 21st of July 2020 so it's been over a year but yeah it's gone for 14 Happy to see the back of that one. This one went quickly, I think it was the first of the like sarong wrap ones that I listed so I went for 15 which is really decent because I've got loads of them. Kind of worried that time's running out for them, but I guess people do go on holidays still, do they? I guess. <laughs> don't know. This one as well was one that I didn't think was going to sell, and you can tell I didn't put much effort into the photos, because it was quite small. I put the measurements in, um, but it went for 15. This one has gone twice now. I've sold it before, I took an offer of 17, but it came back because the hem at the bottom had been hand done, you know, so it had been shortened before um which i didn't realize it was only like a few inches but um but yeah the first person that bought it wasn't really happy about that so i listed it and it sold again within a few days and this time it's not come back um i did put in the description that it had been what's the word i can't think of the word adapted <laughs> i can't think of the word modified that's it modified this one's been on a while october 2020 it was one of them coat bundles that I got from Bulk again last October and that one went for 20. This was a lovely skirt, went for 18. I think this was in the bundle that the skirts that were a pound each when they were on sale. So that's a really good profit, I'm really happy with that. This one, it says 10 but I think it went for 8, I don't know why it says sold for 10. I'm pretty sure I took an offer of 8, again just to get things moving. This is the abacus that I showed in my last I think it was my last, or maybe the one before, my charity shop one. And I just picked it up randomly, not knowing. I think it was in the 50p box. It might have been a pound, but it was Singapore Airlines Abacus. And I was so shocked <laughs> that it went. I really thought it was going to stick around. I listed it on the 12th. I'm pretty sure someone bought it the next day, so I really should have put it on for higher. So if you find anything in Singapore Airlines, yeah, there wasn't any solds either, so... I should have put it on for hire, but well happy that it went so quick. This is another one that went really quick. I think it was Necker's Day. No, that's all today. So a few days. North Face shirt. And with these things, I get a bit lazy because I don't bother. You know, I use Canva to do the backgrounds. I don't bother doing that in these kinds of things because with things like this, like a North Face shirt, when it's in really good condition, it's going to sell. Um, you're not going to have any problems selling it. So things like that, I don't really bother with the backgrounds. Usually it's just more on the things that maybe aren't so sought after. I, I don't know if that came out on the microphone, but I just heard the guy next door sneezing, so that was nice. <laughs> Adidas Extra Large, 15. No idea where this was from. I can hear him sneezing again. And then I took an offer of £4 for this Ratchet and Clank PS2 game. There have been ones that have sold uh, for eight pounds and stuff. I put it acceptable because the disc was. I put a picture of it on as well. It, it did have not deep scratches, but you know it had quite a bit of scratches on. So I put it as acceptable. So I'm hoping that it's going to be all right. I did put in the description as well, you know, that it was used and acceptable. So we'll see. The Russell Hobbs two cup thing that I smashed one cup in my video where I showed it um, and I did put comes with only one cup and I put it in the description in big letters comes with only one cup and I put it in the item specifics that it's only one cup this sold today so I'm gonna message them before I said it just to confirm that they know that there is only one cup with it <laughs> but yeah I wasn't even gonna bother listening it when I smashed um when one smashed but I did and they took it for 24.99 but I'm not convinced that they've read that it only comes with one cup. So we'll see. This poncho was nice. It was new. But I still got 23 for it. Which I was... Oh, it was wool. Wool blend. Uh, which I was pretty surprised about. I did think it was going to go in winter time. But anyway, that went... This went fast. Yeah, I took the offer of 35. I think I had it on for 45. And someone offered 35 and I was just like, okay... Uh, another one from Bulk Vintage, I think it was just in with the skirt, sometimes you get random things mixed in with it. A uh, leather, leather jacket with the tassels. It wasn't in the best of conditions. It was okay, but it just had, you know, sometimes the 
the suede gets a bit grubby looking um but i think that kind of adds to the the whole look of it really doesn't it so yeah, you can see here that it's like, it's like a bit lighter than the rest so it wasn't like super perfect or anything and that's it that's all i have for you today i hope it was interesting but no big giant sales as usual but 10 pound per item profit is what i'm aiming for sometimes it's more and obviously on the games it's going to be less i don't mind a few pounds on them because they were technically free so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one